What is the value of side A for the triangle rounded to the nearest whole number? So pause the video, you know the drill, try to figure it out, and we'll go over it. Okay, so this here, hopefully you recognize, is a right triangle. And if not, I'll break down what that means here. But basically, when two lines intersect each other, these two lines cross, and they create this little box type thing here, which is a 90 degree angle. So whenever you see that little box type thing, or you just are told that it's a, a 90 degree angle, you're dealing with a right triangle. And when we have a right triangle, we can apply a special formula called the Pythagorean theorem, all right? And so we can use this formula to get the right answer. And all we have to do is figure out what side A is. We may then have to round to the nearest whole number. So in the formula, we don't know what A is yet, so I'm just gonna keep it as A squared. And we do know what B is, B is 55. And if you're wondering how is B 55, just look right here, right? So this side of the triangle is 55. That corresponds to letter B here in our formula. So that's why I said B is 55. So we put 55 in here and it's really, it's 55 and then we're gonna square it because it's B squared, all right? So 55 squared equals C squared. And what is my C? What number do I use? Hopefully you see that I use 100 for C squared, all right? And the reason for that is because the C side of our triangle in our formula, it corresponds to 100. I put in 100 squared. So I rewrite this and I have A squared plus 3025 equals 10000, all right? And so again, we're trying to get this A squared, or we're really trying to get the A out. So I want to get the A by itself on one side of the equation. And so in order to do that, I want to clear out this 3,025. So since there's a plus sign in front of it, I'm going to do the opposite operation of addition, which is subtraction. And that's going to get rid of 3,025 from the left-hand side of the equation. But hopefully you know that whatever I do to one side, I'm also going to have to do it to the other side as well. All right, and so now I have 10,000 minus 3,025. So let me rewrite. So doing 10,000 minus 3,025 gives me A squared equals 6,975. Now I know there's at least one person out there who may have got to this step and now you're wondering, why isn't that one of the answers? I don't see that as an answer choice. Well, this is a very common mistake a lot of people make. So if you made it, don't feel bad but we need to solve for side A. Right now we solve for A squared. So how do we get that A squared? All right, well we don't do, this would be wrong. And if you did this, I'm not picking on you, I'm just being blunt here so that you don't make this mistake on your test. All right, a big mistake would be to think that to get A squared, we have to take this 6,975 and square it, all right? That's not gonna get you the right answer. So if you did that again, I'm just giving you a little tough love, all right? It's, it's okay, we're just practicing, but make sure you don't do that on the test. All right, what you really wanna do is take the square root of both sides. We're doing that because the square root of A squared is just gonna be A, which is what we really want. Now we have to take the square root of this big number, 6975, and what is it? So it's about 83.51. And of course, we're gonna round it to the nearest whole number. So you don't really even have to know anything about rounding here because all these numbers are completely different. And you can just see, see that 83.51 is close to 84. And so that's gonna be the right answer. Here's the written solution. If you'd like to read it, you can pause the video and take your time and then we'll keep going. 